Law enforcement sources tell me they are concerned that the people in the van may have been connected to the protests or emboldened by the chaos. They say they have to stop them before they strike again. David Vasquez went to Panola Valley High School with Pat Underwood, the security officer at Oakland's federal building who was gunned down during the protests Friday night. I just fell to my knees and I said, God of all people, why him? He was so good to a lot of people. Vasquez is also a pastor who is now preparing for a funeral and trying to console Pat Underwood's fiance. It was devastating. The family is broken because we know what kind of person Pat was. Pat would not hurt a fly. Underwood died in a hail of gunfire at 9.45 p.m. Sources telling me his partner was shot three times but survived with a shattered femur. The surveillance cameras at the Fed building captured that image, but not a license plate, apparently. The FBI, ATF, and Oakland police are scouring the area for other surveillance cameras, traffic cameras, and looking at news helicopter video from the protest for that white van. You know, I was very close with his family and, and very close with his friends. You know, he would do anything really for anybody. I also spoke today with another of Pat Underwood's lifelong friends. Pat was her brother's best man. Now Jeannie Ricketts still can't believe he's gone. It's senseless. You know, he was standing there trying to, you know, protect everybody. And he, he wouldn't have hurt anybody. And people out there that are doing senseless crimes and looting, I just want you to picture when you see Pat's face he stood for justice he stood for peace he stood for equality Pat Underwood's sister has canceled a news conference for Southern California tomorrow but she tells me the family is planning a service in the Bay Area coming up on June 12th